So what we did is we worked with Nixies and IDOS Montreal to bring real-time ray-traced shadows to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's perfect. And so the thing to look at right now with, with RTX off, you saw the crisp shadows up there, and you saw right here. This is really hard to do, and that's why they don't do it at all, which is dynamic lights and shadows. These are dynamic point lights. They're really expensive to do in current rendering techniques because basically you have to cast shadows in every direction from the light. And this is, goes back to what you were saying earlier about having to put a cube map here and a cube map here, and every time you move, you have to redo all that rendering. So let's put RTX to the test and have it just do it for us. Oh. <laughs> The beautiful thing about ray tracing is you turn it on. You know, when you turn on the light, it just does the right thing physically. And because we're tracing these rays physically, it should perform according to what we expect. Yeah, and, and so the, the umbras, where right behind, where it's nice and, nice and dark, uh, it's correct. And where penumbra, where you have the softness of the shadow, because not all of the shadow is occluded, part of it is lit, uh, you get some softness. Yeah. Off and on. Wow. Now let's take you to, you were talking about some of those area lights earlier. You want to look at some examples of those? Yeah. Well, here's a big example. This is an incredibly lit scene. This whole scene is amazing. It's beautiful. And so what we have here is we have two cone lights and two area lights. Those area lights are basically rectangular shapes, the neon lights above the stage. And what you notice is the shadows below are hard, like you keep talking. And this is state-of-the-art for real-time graphics right now. And i got to say that because the guys are sitting right next to me who made those shadows. And they are bread. This is the best we have right and now. They look, and they look beautiful. Yeah, they look, they beautiful look great. Until they, now. And the way that, that's simulated, those area lights are simulated essentially as a couple of point lights. And that's why you see such hard shadows. Exactly. But if you simulate the area lights like area lights, mm -hmm. because we ray traced it, and you? independent of where, where the rays bounced around, eventually, if it were to hit some part of that area light, it gets lit. And so ray tracing is a much more cost effective, in fact, yep. um, however, very difficult to do, uh, way of doing area lights. And let's turn this on and take, uh, take a look. Uh, so it you get the nice real. blend of the color and the light. It's Isn't that beautiful, guys? It's rather, it's rather. And rather we can do, we can do whatever we like. We could, we could um, add more area lights. We could add more spotlights. You can mix it all together without trying to fidget with it. Without trying to figure out what is the definition of right. Right just looks right. That's another wisdom. Right looks right. And talking to the artists that do this, they tell me all great things about shadows. They're telling me shadow is another color to them. They love shadow. And they also told me that shadow and light is what they use to set the mood and tone of their environments. And so that's how important shadows are. And it feels like we just gave them a lot more depth for it. Everything just works. Okay. All right, man. Good job, Chad. Thanks.